Hello and welcome to Aditya classes where we have been talking about assignment questions these days, assignment problems, different kinds of assignment problems, special cases and assignment problems. So today we are taking a problem where there is a restriction on some roots. These could be roots or these could be combinations. Where certain combinations are not permitted. Now these restrictions could be permanent in nature or these could be temporary in nature. How do we deal with these restrictions? One way to deal with these restrictions is that you put a dash in the cells where there is a restriction. Another way could be you put an infinite in those cells where there is a restriction. Still another could be you put a very big value m in the cells with restrictions. So you could put either of these values. You could put a dash or an infinite or a, an m in these restricted cells. So for our given problem, if we see, we have been given dashes. So you can use dash or infinite or m, it really doesn't matter because we'll be looking for smaller values. Dash does not permit an does not permit a mathematical operation infinite as it is anything subtracted from infinite anything added to infinite infinite added to infinite doesn't make a difference so infinite doesn't make a difference this doesn't make a difference because it does not permit mathematical operations m is a very large value not infinite but very large value so anything subtracted from very large value a 5 subtracted from 10 lakh and a 7 subtracted from 10 lakh hardly matters. So M is such a value 10 lakh, 10 crore, 100 crores, 10,000 crores, 4 subtracted from 10,000 crores and 100 subtracted from 10,000 crores hardly makes any difference. So you could make use of either of these symbols all are equally good. The key important thing is that whenever we see this symbol will not change the value. This is an important consideration. In Problems with restriction on some roots or some combinations as the problem may be. It could be salesman to territory. Some salesmen would say that they cannot go to particular territory. So there could be a restriction in that sense. There could be a restriction that a particular worker does not have a particular skill set. So he cannot be assigned to a job. He can be assigned to four jobs, but he has no idea about fifth job. So, he cannot be assigned there. So, there could be restrictions on combinations or roots, whatever is the case scenario, certain combinations or roots are restricted. And how do you restrict? You could put either of these signs. Now, let us understand this problem. If we have a look at this problem, we have car, bus, train, plane and truck. And they could be transporting goods to village 1, village 2, city 1, hill station 1 and hill station 2. So, here what we see is, that planes cannot transport goods to village 1 and village 2 probably because they are not having airports. So planes cannot transport your goods to village 1 and village 2. As far as trains are concerned probably village 2 is not connected to train route. So train cannot transport goods to village 2 also. S there are similar restrictions. Train cannot transport to hill station 1, hill station 2. Plane cannot transport to hill station 2. Probably there is no airport. So, these are various restrictions, various combinations. Apart from these restrictions, which are permanent restrictions, because train is not connected to hill stations. These are very steep hills. Trains cannot go there. There is a restriction. Villages do not have, a, have an airport. There is a restriction. Then, probably village 2 is not connected. These are permanent restrictions. Also, in question, I have another restriction. Due to traffic restrictions, truck cannot transport to hill station 2. Now, truck transporting to hill station 2, there is a cost of 15 rupees per unit, 15 rupees per kilometer, whatever, there is a cost of 15 in the matrix. In routine, a truck can transport to H2, hill station 2. But for now, maybe there is a landslide, maybe there are rains, whatever the conditions, due to traffic restrictions, a truck cannot transport to H2. So, first, I need to update my matrix. This was the original matrix, but according to the given information, I need to place a restriction 
for truck going to H2, truck going to hill station 2. I need to put a restriction over here. So, how do we put that restriction? I will just make a change over here. This is a restricted route. This is how I put a restriction, as simple as that. Now, my table was given as 15, but I have put a restriction. Now, you need to find optimum solution to assignment problem. Now, this is your assignment problem. Go ahead and solve it. My method is first I need to go for row reduction, then I need to go for column reduction and then I will see for assignments. So, let us get on with our first step. We have a matrix of 5 by 5. Then we have 5 places where we need to transport. You have a car, bus, train, plane and truck. You have village 1, village 2, city 1, hill station 1 and hill station 2. First step would be row reduction. Table 1. row reduction. Let us go for row reduction. Row reduction minimum in this row is 7. If there were an infinite still it would be 7. Now I need to subtract 7 from all. It would make it a 3, 5, 1, dash and 0. Even if it were an infinite, infinite might se minus 7 would be infinite. m minus 7 would be m. So you can put anything over here. So, subtracting 7 from all, I have a 0 in my first row. This is the purpose of row reduction. There should be a 0 in each row. Second, 8 is minimum. It will be 0, 1, 6, 8 and 2. 6 is minimum. So, it will be 1 dash 0 dash dash. Then, 8 is minimum. 0 and 3. 10 is minimum. 2, 3, 1, 0 dash. Now my table is row reduced. Each row is having at least one zero. Now I need to go for column reduction. We see that four columns are already reduced. This is the column that I need to reduce. So table two would be column reduction. column reduction. We have a matrix of 5 by 5. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. We have village 1, village 2, city 1, hill station 1 and 2. We have a car, bus, train, plane and truck. First column is already reduced. We have a 0, 3, 0, 1 dash 2, 4, 0 dash dash 2, 1, 6, 0, 0, 1 dash 8 dash 3, 0, then there is a 0, 2, dash, dash and dash. After row reduction and column reduction, each row and each column will be having a 0. First row, second row, third row, fourth row, fifth row. Each row is having a 0, each column. First column, second column, third column, fourth column, fifth column. Each row and each column is having at least one 0. There can be more. Let us go for assignment. Do we see any unique zeros? This 0 is unique. Why is it unique? There are no zeros in its row or column. We have a unique zero. Go ahead and assign it. Single zero. Oh, let us check more if there are any other zero unique zeros. Two. This is two. This one is again unique. 
nobody in its row, nobody in its column. So this is also a unique zero. Now we are through with scanning of the rows. Let me scan columns. If there is any unique, these are two, these are two. Now there are no unique zeros. Let me scan single zeros. Two zeros in this row, single zero. I get a single zero, I make an assignment. Now this was single zero, I need to remove this zero. So I've scanned all the rows once again. Now let me go to columns. In columns, this is a single zero. I make an assignment, I remove this. We are through with our assignments. All zeros have been assigned. One, two, three, and four. In five rows and columns, there are only four assignments. So there is a situation of degeneracy. How do we resolve it? We cut all zeros using one, two, three, four rows or four horizontal lines or vertical lines. The idea is you should select ones with maximum zeros. This has two zeros. This has two zeros. We are getting four rows. One, two, three, four assignments. So we have four rows, sorry, four lines, horizontal or vertical. One horizontal, one vertical. I still have two lines. And then I have two zeros also. So what I'll do is, I can take this line. Also, I can take this line. All zeros have been cut. Fine. Now, let us move ahead and prepare our third table. Five, one, two, three. 4 and 5. Now, from these uncut cells, minimum is 1. We'll subtract this 1 from all values. If we subtract 1 from these all uncut values, I get C, B, train, plane and truck. We have village 1, village 2, city 1, Hill station 1, hill station 2. If I subtract 1 from all these, I get a 2, 3. 0, dash, 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 1, 1. We have three operations, minus, plus and equal to. Minus happens with uncut cells. Plus happens with intersections. This will become 7, 9 and 3. So I am done with minus, I am done with plus. Now equal to. Equal to is copying these as it is 0, 0, 1, dash 3, 0, dash, dash, dash. We have a 0, dash and 1. So let us see if this is our final table. This is our table 3. Still we have a unique 0. Sorry. We have a unique zero, two zeros, two zeros, one zero, but we leave it. This again is unique zero. So we had two unique zeros, we assigned them. Two, two, this is one. In this row, this is one. So I'll make an assignment, I'll remove this. Then let me move to columns. Two zeros, two zeros, uh, sorry, two zeros and single zero. I'll get hold of this single zero and Remove this. Now I'm making these assignments without discussing the steps, assuming that you have seen our previous videos. So this was a single in its column. I've made single in its row also. And then in complete matrix, only one zero remains. We have one, two, three, four, five assignments. Where are these five assignments? Car to hill station two. Bus is going to village 2, train is going to village 1, then plane is going to city 1 and truck is going to. So this is the best possible combination to transport all my units. Considering the restrictions, the permanent restrictions and 
the temporary present restrictions also. So this is it for our present discussion where we were talking of how to solve, how to assign where there are restrictions. Next time when we meet, we will take up some more different problems from assignment. Until we meet next time, do take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.